ಹಾಯ್ ಎಲ್ಲೋ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನದಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನೋ ಸಂಗತಿಗಳು ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅದನ್ನ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಅಂದಾಗ ಕಷ್ಟ ಅನ್ಸುತ್ತ ಕೆಲವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೌದು ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗತ್ತೆ ಕೆಲವರು ಸುಲಭವಾಗಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಇನ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಲರ್ನ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರೈಬ್ ಅ ಈವೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ when you are describing the event or when you're describing a uh what is say experience you can use past tense however when you're quoting what you told then or what you said in that particular situation you can use present tense or future tense but it should always have a preceding that is you should always use a past verb saying that i told i said i argued i understood and then use those terms to make people understand what you used in that particular day am i clear on this so let me tell you otherwise let me share an experience of mine which happened in my college days i was a person who was not that good when it comes to english so the fear of going on stage was always there one fortunate or unfortunate day one of my friends who was a class representative said do join why don't you anchor the show i was like i will never do that i was like i will never do that future okay i was like nan en helde i will never do that he said why why can't you do it i said do i have very bad english i cannot speak so why are you putting me in that spot so he said you can do it and i'm sure you will be able to do it so trust me go ahead and do it i said i cannot i tried to convince as much as possible to him and my teachers but all of them said no go for it and this took a different turn in my life one of my friends said uh, don't worry what i will do is i will write the complete script for you you just have to read it that's it i was like mm, okay that makes my life easy let me try my luck i told that and went ahead and when i went ahead to do this when i went ahead and to do this angry my friend had written the complete script and now i read it once or twice and then i was like okay it's there i can read it that's fine so no grammatical errors because everything is written i can just read what is written there fortunately unfortunately my friend who wrote the script did not number the sheets and now one guy who is a participant comes to me and says hey can you tell me when is my program i was like i don't know so he said uh, how will i know so i said take the sheet read through and if you have something find it out he said okay fine that's fine and he started looking at his program and he found this and he said hey this is my number and i'll do it and i was like okay and trust me i did not even notice when he gave the papers back that he had shuffled the paper he had put paper upside down he had put everything shuffled i did not look at it at all i just took that paper and went on to the dais and now it's time for me to announce so I know only one thing to say by heart that is to say good morning or good evening apart from that everything was supposed to be in the paper so I took the sheet and started to read I said good morning all of you and the first program of the day is vote of thanks by so and so the entire crowd started laughing I was like oh my god what is the blunder did I do then everyone said like that is the last program and you have read it first yes friends from then on all right when people humiliated most of them what they do is they stop doing that from then on they don't want to do it anymore but i took it as a challenge and started working on it and now i am going many shows so which means some of the incidents are very very important in our life it's a turning point well After saying this I want to tell you one thing how we can take life but then not here in some other session but now you heard me sharing my experience I want you to do something similar like this how would you do this you will have to talk about your past by telling few words and also telling using the present form there will be confusion how can you use present when i'm talking about past yes 
In such cases, you will have to, in the beginning, as I told you, you will have to say, I told, I said, I was like, did you hear me say, I was like, I understood, okay, these words you can use as a past one. So this would be like a subtitle and then you use the words that you used. Getting it when you share your experience. So what do you do? You say that, I told, I will not do it. I told, I cannot do it. I told, I don't know how to speak. Are you able to get it? So I told, I said, it is difficult for me. I forced him to understand my situation. I tried to convince him, but he did not get convinced past tense. Okay. He said, you can do it. You can do it. So I'm not using the word, you could do it. I'm not using that. You can do it. Why? I am using the experience. I'm using the same words that was used by my friend, used by me in the conversation. So only thing is the subtitle should have the past form and then you can use the present form or ing form exactly how it happened. All right. Hope this helped you to understand how you can share your experience or any event that happened. It could be an accident. It could be anything. Remember, you don't meet with an accident. You have an accident. meet antandre tapu. I met with an accident in the tapu. I had an accident. I use my polygon. Alright, so this lesson English full So see you next time. Till then, it's bye-bye from Jijoy.